Hey, movie theaters back open after an incredibly tough year. Our main man Mike Randall checks out what's playing and what's on the way at the locally owned Dipson Theaters with a visit to Flick Stadium in Lancaster. We're just really excited to have people come back to the theaters. Tracy Janice is the district manager for the locally owned Dipson Theaters. The company has been around 80 years, but this past one has been one of the toughest. We were shut down for about you know a year's time. Um, in the meantime, we were doing similar to like restaurants doing uh, takeout. We were doing you know uh, popcorn to go and that kind of kept the lights on. Open now a few weeks, you can feel the excitement as movies are once again back on the big screen. We're at 33% capacity right now with the six feet of social distancing that's also in place as well. Dipson theaters have those D-box seats, you know, the ones that move and vibrate with the action on the screen. So speaking of action, No Time to Die was supposed to open last April. This poor man, James Bond, has been sitting over here for uh, a little over a year now. But there's good news for Bond fans. He's back on the screen in November. Mortal Kombat is playing now with Black Widow on its way this summer. We have unfinished business. Tickets are already on sale for that movie that all of Western New York is awaiting, A Quiet Place 2. the movie? A Quiet Place 2. Shh. Sorry. The nerve-shredding movie was filmed all over town. Pretty soon the whole world will know what an awesome place Western New York is. <laughs> yeah, except for the monsters. And by the way, lots of local people are in the film too. And I have had numerous calls. People are very excited, so they want to be able to see themselves on the screen. Who wouldn't? And who isn't excited about finally being able to say, see you at the movies. Lucky us. In Lancaster, Mike Randall 7. Eyewitness News.